morning everybody this is Barry from H&W Machine Repair and today I'm going to be installing the leveling feet onto a Bridgeport milling machine series one mill the reason we sell them this way is because the Bridgeport mill is normally a hollow base so it's easier to put an outrigger underneath the whole base and go from there in the kit you get the two bars that are already drilled and drilled and tapped the four leveling feet four bolts and four washers the two wrenches you will need are a three-quarter and a 15 sixteenths so let's get started on this thing our first step is going to be put the pads together and I usually go down to where they're about touching you have the washer and then take this one off take your outrigger Let's go over the top of it, like that. I'm gonna go down like that. And then we do the same thing to the other side. You can see the feet come wrapped like this. These come like this. And it's the exact same thing. Just take this in, screw it all the way down. Take this all the way down. Fifteen sixteenths. So, sometimes they go down easier than others. On the bottom, just give that a little snug fit there. And this one can go down to where it's basically touching it. Top nut off and the top washer off. So now you have a washer on top and a washer on bottom. Put it on the other outrigger. Okay, at this point now, what you're going to want to do is take your tape measure and measure how far you are to the bottom of your outrigger which right now we are a hair over three inches. Now we go to our mill over here. I already have this up in the air. If you notice, there's no table and saddle. This is the mill we're in the process of rebuilding. I'm not quite at three inches, so I'm gonna raise it up just a little bit. Check our height here. you don't want to go up too high is because when you do this you want to be as close to possible to your height now this is one of the more critical parts of this do your best not to put your hands between this and the bar slide it straight in you just kind of look underneath and line it up pretty close What I do is from underneath, I find it hole underneath and get it started. Do the same thing on the other side. But I do not put my hand between the bar and the, and the mill. Once you have them connected, just take your wrench. Just go to where I'm snug. I don't want to be super tight yet. Okay. Let's go down to where I'm just touching. 
because you notice that we're not even when we do this. Now we'll put on the second one. Now we have everything connected Stay down, so you're going to set your machine down. And we're down, on, we're down on our pads. Now, to level it, obviously you would do this, you'd have to have a level, you just put your level, and you're going to loosen your top one, and then you're going to adjust it with the top one, top nut here, to where it's level, and then once you have it level, you just lock your top one down, and you do the same thing for forward and back. But that's pretty straightforward, as you can see, they don't stick out very far, and it gives your machine a lot more stability.